Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Slack. I'm going to cover a very quick, basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Slack works. So, if you have no idea about Slack and how to get started, then this video is for you. Slack is a powerful communication and collaboration platform that enables teams to communicate, share files, and work together efficiently from anywhere in the world. In this tutorial, we will provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to effectively use Slack to communicate with your team and manage your tasks. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the Slack tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account, and if you already have an account, just skip this step. First, click on Try for Free button. From there, you can sign up using your email, Google account, or Apple ID. After you've signed up, the next step is to create a workspace. There are four steps involved in creating a workspace. In the first step, you will need to enter the name of your company or team and then click Next. In the second step, you will need to enter your name and to upload a profile picture if you want. In the third step, you can invite your teammates to join the workspace by entering their email addresses. Finally, in the fourth step, you will need to enter what your team is currently working on. Once you've completed all four steps and created your workspace, you will be taken to your workspace dashboard. From there, you can begin using Slack to communicate with your team, share files, and collaborate on projects. First, I'll show you what you can actually find in Slack, and then I will show you how we can use Slack. The dashboard in Slack is designed to be simple and user-friendly, providing easy access to different parts of the workspace. The left-hand side of the dashboard features a left sidebar, which serves as an access point for various sections of the workspace. The sidebar includes several tabs, including the New Message button, Browse Slack, Channels, Direct Message, and Start a Huddle. The New Message button allows you to start a new conversation or message with one or more team members. By clicking on the New Message button, you can easily initiate a chat, direct message, or group message with individuals or channels. The New Message button is located in the top left corner of the Slack interface and is easily accessible from any screen. When clicked, it opens a pop-up window that allows you to search for and select the individuals or channels you wish to message. Once a recipient or recipients have been selected, you can type your message in the text box and hit enter to send it. The new message button also provides options to add emojis, attach files, and format the text of the message. The new message button is a useful feature in Slack as it allows you to quickly and easily initiate conversations with your team members without having to navigate to a specific channel or message thread. This can help to streamline communication and improve collaboration within teams. The Browse Slack allows you to navigate and access different sections of the platform. When you click on Browse Slack, a drop-down menu appears, which includes various sections. The Unread section displays all of the messages and notifications that you have not yet read, making it easy to catch up on any missed messages. The Direct Messages section shows all of your individual or group conversations with other team members. The Later lets you save messages or files for later and set reminders to come back to them when you have time. It helps you manage your work and keeps track of things you need to do within Slack. The Mentions and Reactions section displays all of the messages in which you have been mentioned or have reacted with an emoji. The Drafts and Sent section shows all of the messages that you have saved as drafts or have sent. The Slack Connect section allows you to connect and communicate with other organizations and teams on Slack. The All Channels section displays all of the public and private channels that you are a member of. The Files section shows all of the files shared in Slack. You can add files from your computer or connect to a service like Google Drive, Box, or OneDrive. The People and User Groups section displays a list of all team members and user groups. Finally, the Apps section allows you to access and manage the various third-party apps and integrations that are connected to your Slack workspace. The Channel tab enables you to access and join different channels. 
Channels are virtual spaces in Slack where team members can communicate and collaborate on specific topics, projects, or tasks. Channels can be created for different departments, projects, interests, or anything else that team members need to discuss and work on together. Channels can be either public or private. Public channels are open to anyone on the team and anyone can join or leave them at any time. Private channels, on the other hand, are only visible and accessible to selected team members and require an invitation to join. Channels in Slack are organized into a list on the left-hand side of the screen, making it easy to navigate between them. You can also use the search function to find specific channels or messages. You can also add a new channel. To add a new channel, simply click on the Add Channels button and then follow the prompts. The Direct Message tab helps you to keep track of your conversation with coworkers. You will see a list of all your direct messages here. You will see the latest messages at the top, so you can tell what's new at a glance. The Direct Message tab also provides you with the option to add new coworkers to your direct message list. By clicking on the Add Coworkers button, a pop up window will appear, giving you the choice to either invite your coworker via email or share an invite link with them. The Start a Huddle allows users to quickly start a voice call with a small group of people within a channel. Essentially, it is a mini voice conference that is designed to facilitate quick and easy communication among team members. Now, integrating Slack with other apps is a great way to streamline your workflow and improve productivity. To get started, click on the Browse Slack option in the left sidebar of your Slack workspace. From the drop-down menu, select Apps, and you will be taken to the Slack App Gallery. In the App Gallery, you can browse through a variety of apps available for integration with Slack. Once you have found an app that you want to connect with your Slack account, simply click on Add. You will then be directed to the Slack App Directory, where you can see detailed information about the app, including its features, permissions, and security compliance. To complete the integration process, click on Add to Slack and authorize the app to connect with your account. This will allow you to access the app from within Slack and start using its features to improve your productivity and collaboration with your team. Slack offers three different plans for its users, Pro, Business Plus, and Enterprise Grid. The Pro plan costs $8.75 per person per month when billed monthly and is designed for small teams who need better collaboration. This plan includes unlimited message history, apps and integrations, and voice-first huddles, as well as the ability to work securely with other companies using Slack Connect channels. The Business Plus plan costs $15 per person per month when billed monthly and is perfect for scaling businesses that want to increase productivity and keep their teams connected. This plan includes all the benefits of the Pro plan as well as 99.99% .99 guaranteed uptime, user provisioning and deprovisioning, SAML-based single sign-on, and data exports for all messages. Finally, the Enterprise Grid Plan is for the most complex enterprises that require maximum flexibility and power to meet regulatory requirements and growth. The price for this plan is available upon request through Slack's sales team. This plan includes all the features of the Business Plus Plan plus unlimited workspaces, support for data loss prevention, e-discovery, and offline backup providers, as well as HIPAA-compliant message and file collaboration. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Slack. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.